Hey guys, it's Jenny here. It's the fifth day to Christmas. How's your Christmas shopping for gifts going? How many gifts have you had to carry? And not just the gifts, but the shopping also. Your gifts and your shopping are what they are first and a load second, just in the same way as your children are your children first and a load second. Many times we pay attention only to things that are big and cumbersome when we're lifting them, but it's the small things that we lift that can actually add the adverse pressure to our pelvic floor and also trash our low back. So today we're going to look at how we can lift and actually lift to avoid the adverse pressure on the pelvic floor and on the low back, whilst at the same time getting functional contractions that are going to enhance our body shape and our posture. So when you go shopping and you've got your trolley, you've got your bags in your trolley and you load your trolley first, that's not a problem. You walk out to your car that's okay, but it's that lifting of those shopping bags that may be slightly heavier than usual and then twisting and pushing them into the car where you could do some damage. How many of you think about activating the transverse, the exercise I showed you the other day, by switching the lower abdominals on first before you go to lift? So what I normally do is just think about activating my obliques and my, my lower abdominals by drawing in and slightly up towards the ribcage so I've got activation, the obliques are going to anchor my hips and allow me to rotate, but by activating the lower abdominals, the major stabiliser for the low back, it actually pulls that natural girdle in, stabilises my trunk, keeps the adverse pressure off my pelvic floor from the load inside and outside, and allows me to have a functional contraction without a worry. So, I switch on, I draw in and I draw up, a very small movement, not above here, and then I lift my back. So I sit back into position so the biggest muscle can work, use the thighs as well to anchor. I reach for my bags out of my trolley. I lift by using the butt, even doing a little breath, like blowing the trumpet. I rotate, and as I rotate, I shift from the right leg, where I've lifted, to the left leg, and then I can put the bag into the calf. If I want to step, I can do the same thing. When I go to check in, when I go on holiday and the suitcase is there, I drag it along. But when I go to bag in check in, I draw in, I draw up, I sit back, I lift. Again, I can just transfer the weight by turning and stepping and placing the bag on the conveyor belt. I've got no problem. At home, your kids' toys are on the floor. They could be as lighter than 2K, could be as heavy as 5K. Rather than bending from the back, what I do, again, little draw in and up, I step. But as I step, that would naturally switch on for me anyway. I step, I'm using this muscle here. I can pick up from here, I can squeeze, I can lift. Show you again. So the weight is on the floor. All I've got to do is step into it. This is in and up, I go down, I pick it up. Wherever I'm going to place it on the shelf, I've got a functional contraction. Same if it's 5K. I don't bend from here and hang off the ligaments that protect my back. I use the biggest muscle in the body, I keep good alignment, and I lift. So I can draw up and I lift. If you want to know more about the exercises I'm showing you over these 12 days, why not click on and come to one of the master classes on the 6th of January and go through the exercises in depth, or be one of the eight women, by God's grace, we're taken to Vietnam next September. Register your interest today. Until then, I will see you soon in pelvic floor health and happiness. Enjoy the exercises. Stay blessed.